I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to deal with food allergies in babies and children. Now, this is a very complex, very broad topic, and we cannot be comprehensive on it today, but we can touch on a few important things. Probably the most dangerous and earliest food allergy that we see in children occurs in newborns or infants, and it's a milk protein allergy. This can even occur in nursing infants whose mothers drink cow's milk. It's an allergic reaction that occurs in the intestine against elements of cow's milk, cow's milk proteins, that are present in some formulas and some humans' breast milk. That can lead to vomiting, diarrhea, even bloody diarrhea, and at its worst it can make the child very, very sick. The good news is it's not a terribly common condition. However, if your infant is feeding poorly, vomiting a lot, or you're worried about his or her stool, certainly if you see blood in the stool, you really want to bring that to his or her doctor's attention and consider milk protein allergy as a possibility. Now, after the milk protein allergy, there are fewer allergies that affect children, and they tend to affect them less severely. But the next most common and most dangerous one is peanut and tree nut allergy. What makes the peanut and tree nut allergy unique is that it tends to worsen with age instead of improving with age. These children may start with hives, big red welty bumps all over that itch, but they may also go on to develop wheezing, shortness of breath, a sense of the mouth swelling or the throat closing up that can be very dangerous indeed. So if you think your child has had that sort of reaction to peanuts, tree nuts, or any other food, you want to make sure his or her doctor knows because they're going to need an emergency plan at school or at daycare, and they're going to need to have an epinephrine auto-injector, the favorite brand name is EpiPen, available anywhere that they might encounter peanuts or whatever their allergen is. Now, there are some other allergens that cause slightly less severe reactions a child may have allergies to wheat protein, to soy protein, to some fruits or vegetables. Uh, the milder allergies are usually manifested with some itching around the mouth or a funny feeling in the lips. These allergies don't tend to be as dangerous. However, if they have any of these allergies, I forgot to mention eggs, but that's another common form of allergy, and usually it's to the egg white, not to the yellow part of the egg. Uh, they probably do want to see their doctor for it, and the doctor may want to send them on to see an allergy specialist to get some testing and determine whether anything else needs to be done aside from eliminating that food from the child's diet. The good news is that except for the peanut and tree nut allergies, a lot of children do grow out of their food allergies. So it may be worth a test of that food six or 12 months after the last exposure, depending on how severe the reaction is. If the reaction was life-threatening, you really don't want to do any kind of test unless you're in the allergist's office and they're doing a formal testing protocol. But if they got sort of an itchy mouth or some big lips when they had cantaloupe six months ago, yeah, you could try cantaloupe again and see what happens. So talking about how to deal with food allergies in children, at least at a superficial level, I'm Dr. David Hill.